Hey guys, what's happening? So, <clears throat> finally back here at the Power Stroke 6 liter, uh, my F250, and I'm getting this, uh, I'm getting a glow plug problem here. I have to get my car smogged here in a couple, or truck smogged here in a couple months. And uh, this is my Bully Dog GT. The cool thing about this though is I don't have to hook up an external, you know, scanner to this thing to get codes. Uh, I've actually tried erasing this code numerous times, and it keeps on coming back, it just won't go away. And I had this problem probably about two years ago, and I fixed it just by cleaning the harness. So before I take this engine apart, or take the uh, try to take the glow plug out, I do actually have a replacement glow plug. But you know, it's I don't want to have to get into that if I don't have to. So I'm gonna do some, grab my multimeter, and I'm gonna do some tests and see if I can troubleshoot it and uh, make sure 100% that it's actually the glow plug. So because lots of times it's actually the harness and not the glow plug. So. All right, I'm gonna grab my multimeter, do some resistance tests, and we'll see if we can figure this out. All right, so I have a glow plug that I bought a few years ago, and a glow plug is just basically like a like a heating coil or heating element. That's all it is. You know, what I mean, it's very basic. Nothing to really go wrong, and uh, that's why they don't usually go out very often. It seems like you know, it's not like a spark plug. So I've already tested this, but it's the same thing even even like a, like an RC engine, like they have next to you on on the engine right there, over there. Um, same concept, same glow plug, you know. It's just basically a coil inside. You know, you have a, you have a positive and you have a ground. So typically on a, on a power stroke six liter, the, the ground is the block. And the positive is the element here. And there, uh, there's like an insulator material in between. Let me show you real fast so you can test it. So right now I have my multimeter. And I set it right now in continuity. So you can hear the beep. So I'm just going to basically show you that you should be getting continuity. See? Hear the beep? That means, this is obviously it's a brand new one, I expect it to be working. So, I'm gonna take the actual harness plug out, and I'm gonna test it, I mean, I'm gonna have one side on the ground, and I'm gonna test the harness all the way down to the glow plug, and see if I'm actually getting open or closed. So, I wanna yeah, talk I about fire and orders real quick. The Power Stroke 6 liter is not actually a Ford engine, so the uh, fire order is a little bit different. Like on my old Bronco here, it's, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, it goes on that side. So this one that goes one, one, two, three, four, five. So five is on this side. Where's your typical Ford? Five is on the other side. That's down there. All right, I think so you're going to take the tube off to get to the, well, at least it makes it easier to get to. This connector is down there, the uh, glow plug module right there. So this is the first harness right here. It comes up around, and this is the first place where I'm actually going to test resistance. And this actually then feeds back into this harness back in here. And it should be on the black side for this side of the uh, engine here. I think green side is the uh, driver side. Black is the passenger side. But yeah, as you can see, this main power wire feeds into this. And you got a power wire here, positive, and a power, that thick cable right there is providing the power to the east side of the uh, glow plug harness there. So I'm gonna get this off. I'll get my multimeter over here. I'm gonna go. Alright, so I have my multimeter set in continuity, if you can see that. So I'm definitely getting a ground. That's what I'm looking for. I hope I'm the camera, you can see it. You come back. Okay, that one's open. Alright. So there is something wrong with the glow plug. That or the harness. So it's definitely not the module. So you can see I'm getting continuity. So five is open. So I'm definitely, it's definitely going down this way, down towards the glow plug. So, bummer, let me have to get into the engine. All right, cool. All right, so the easiest thing to do to get to the side is just to take this cover off. A couple of screws all around, pops right out. But I actually have a few other things I gotta fix. I gotta fix the horns which are under here, and the leaking uh, window washer tank. So I'm gonna do all that when I'm down here. I don't know if you can see that in the flashlight, but that's number five right there. So I'm gonna pop that off. I'm gonna throw some lube on there first, some like a penetrant, just to loosen up that uh, rubber. Sometimes you can split that boot right there. That's five and that's seven, three, one. All right. Um, yeah, I do actually have that special tool for it to, to grab it. Right, so here's the glow bug tool. I'll put links where you can get all this stuff. Get in there. It's gonna hard to do this with the camera. Might not be able to do this with the camera, but you wanna 
get that in there. Okay, so now I need to verify this thing's open on a multimeter. All right, so I'm gonna bring it in real fast. So you can see I'm getting continuity on the block because I have the air side on the uh, battery, but I should be getting continuity on the tip of that, the lead right there. So if I'm not, that means the glow plug is open. I have a bad glow plug. So I got a deep wall with a little flex head on there. And yeah, it's gonna, there we go. Shouldn't, should break pretty easy. I'm gonna get it unscrewed and use a magnet to pull it out. All right, so here's the one I just took out. We're gonna do a continuity test. Outside body and the element. I should be getting I am getting a small amount of resistance, but not a lot. I mean, this thing is, I should be getting continuity here. You know? Alright. And this is what it should be like. And that's a real motocraft. I'll put links where you can get this stuff. Alright, time to put it back in. And I might test the wiring harness, but I mean, since this is open, it's pretty much this thing. So. Alright, so I decided to degrease this. I never am down here, so I degrease this whole thing. All right, now I got the uh, glow plug locked together. Let's see, diagnostics, and I want to erase DTCs. Turn the car back on. The glow plug light to kick off. Hasn't been running for a while, that's why it took a while. All right, check engine lights off. So uh, that's good. That means we've got good contact between glow plug and the ECU. And you diagnosis. I will be getting a, because I haven't done a drive cycle yet, but I just cleared it, so. All right, cool, good fix. Pretty basic. Yeah, the hardest part was taking that uh, the wheel well cover off, so. All right, cool.